Hi guys, how are you doing? With you Yaroslav Shreds again, making another really short stream. So today let's talk about the pain. So tell me who didn't feel the pain, who hate that feelings. And uh, more I want to talk about the physical pain, but can provide the same similarity with the mental one, what might be even worse than the physical one. Uh, so why do we need the pain? Is it good or not good? Certainly, the pain was created by the mother nature, by the god, by the, I don't know, creator, whatever, yeah? So, if creator, let's say, or whatever you believe, give us this body with a certain ability, uh, certain functions and pain, it was done with a reason. And in a few words, I will explain you why. Why do we need the pain and why it's good? Because it gives you the signal to stop to doing the wrong thing. So, uh, saying about uh, any kind of illness and think what is good as well. Why is good? Because it protects you from a death, let's say, and it gives you the uh, really direct message stop doing something. You feel pain, you get sick, it will be even worse. So it's mean some of your activity is wrong, it mean maybe your food is wrong or your drinks or whatever. So really simple example, you're walking, you hit the stone, your pain is, uh, or your uh, legs is in pain and it's you the signal don't hit the rock again, yeah? Because you had the pain. Same when we, the kids, we're learning, we decide, we cut ourselves, okay, we know we don't need to do it again, we have like quite strong uh, imprint. And if it's something hot, we touch it near the fire, we get hot and we know so we'll need to do it again. Yeah, because it's hot, we'll have a pain, we have some uh, damages on our body and it's recover one week or longer. So it's give you the signal, these things no need to do. This fruits is good, looks good, smells good, okay, it's need to do it. Yeah, some people might be not that smart and have a weaker imprint and they maybe need to touch it and burn it a few times. Yeah, basically we uh, step in the same hole sometimes, few times. I mean, many people do the same mistakes over and over again. Uh, choose a wrong girlfriend, uh, choose a wrong uh, job, eating the wrong food, drinking problem, and again and again and again. So if you have a problem with your liver, your kidney, anything, yeah, your body give you the quite strong and direct message. Just bloody stop smoking or it's everything from a drinking problem so just don't drink that's it yeah and about the mental problem uh, what it's really difficult for be protected on but it's still it's make you stronger it's learning you it give you the experience it necessary as well because without a negative experience you cannot get a positive experience and when you got that pain what unfortunately some people is too weak and have too much influence from all of the shit media around and they even might complete the suicide and so on but still i'm pretty sure everything is for good any negative experience but make you stronger and all of the pain you got is make you stronger and ready for something bigger and maybe later on you got more problem and you already can pass it on you're ready for it yeah uh it's really difficult if we talk about the mental pain and this will be completely different examples, but I want to provide you the similarities with the physical pain. So it's need, it's necessary. Same with a different kind of sickness and um, any kind of disease you might have, yeah? Uh, let's say hypertonia. So not many people born with that, but it can be. Mostly we eat a lot from a childhood because our parents love us so much, give us a lot of sweets, we get fed, wasn't active too much and 20, 30 years we have extra 40, 60 pounds and of course we might get a hypertonia and if you walk, you're out of breath, so probably there's something wrong, yeah? And basically you are the person who can fix the problem without any doctor, let's say reduce your weight, yeah, uh, manage your dietary, let's say. So, in my opinion, most of the problem it's come from food and from our lifestyle. Yeah, of course, it's from your uh, mindset 
your programs, what you have, because you believe I need to eat chicken or whatever. Yeah, maybe you need, but a bit less than you eat. And if you like the potato, okay, maybe you can eat potato in sweets, but let's say you can make a super celebration once a week. Yeah, if your metabolism is still high, if not, maybe once a month. Who knows? I know the guy who like fitness model always on a strict diet, but they say they don't feel any discomfort. They feel even better. They have like uh, enjoyable things and some other stuff. Like they enjoy their bodies, enjoy activity. They're really proud of the results what they got. They can lift like two times more when they start training and the endurance like three times stronger and so on. And some guys, they do like cheat meals once a week. Mostly it's like not only because you'll get this kind of satisfaction for keep the dietary, keep your insulin level well, so make your body works uh, good in all directions. But compared to all other people who we like drink sweet tea or coffee or whatever, who not eat sugar at all and like once a month you take some sweets, you get super high. You have like so high level of endorphin. When I've been on fasting, I don't know, it's like seems you have an orgasm when you eat mango or banana or just, I don't know, even a little bit of uh, bread or rice is make you like so happy and you really like uh, feels like you get dizzy and high from small amount of food because you've been without food for a week or months and then BAM! And your body give you the message, it's exactly what I need, take your reward, take your hormones, a lot of endorphin and certain... So... Uh, Probably because we use our body not really correctly and all of the signals what we have, we might have a certain problem. So maybe when we survive like a thousand of years and we have lack of food, need always try to catch food or food not became to someone food and when we got it, eat, eat, eat as much as we can, put it in the fat because we cannot carry it as ourselves. Maybe if we believe in a theory of uh, Caymans, or maybe we came from another planet and there was a little bit uh, another order and rule, whatever. Our body always have two functions, what they carry on for keep survive, spend less energy, always, and reproduct, that's it. That's why content like this one, not for everyone, so you're super special, because everything was complicated to understand and need to learn something new, mostly people lazy to do so, and it's our genetical stuff for everyone, literally, because our brain always want to save the energy, don't want to spend any extra energy, so it's simply as content is better. It means for now, uh, everyone try to make a content simpler, shorter, easier, because you don't want to spend energy and it's how we degradate, we go down. Especially if we read some philosophers 600 BC before, yeah. And about the health problem, it nothing much change. So basically, same about our body. Uh, any activity you do, uh, any food you eat, body want to spend less energy as possible. So that's why if you do all the same stuff all the time and we increase the amount of calories we get fat and body don't want to spend any extra energy we'll keep it for later what later maybe never come so let's come back to the pain so any pain we got it's only about us so if we have a back pain so maybe we sit in the wrong position maybe we lay down wrong position do something wrong or we hit ourselves so you know ah, okay it's come from this one it's come from that one but when we have a heart problem or maybe even skin problem whatever for let's say when i sit on diet and after I eat some sweets i have a red dots on my body or if i eat a lot of fast carbs it's come on my face directly so it's mean okay it's a bit too much or this food is not really suitable compared to uh, some other time uh, so uh, if you feel pain just think what the cause of it and try to avoid the cause instead of eating the painkillers and so on and if you have a disease so you need to say thank you for your body, it's give you disease and you didn't die, it means you do something wrong, yeah? so if you have a, like your liver, kidney problem, your stomach problem yeah problem with the digestion always need to think what cause of it so basically always cause and effect what we need to sort the cause and you get rid of all the pain and maybe the illness so maybe you can cure yourself and many cases when you can cure yourself with the food just manage it 
reduce it amount of food or maybe increase it or maybe increase the amount of fats or vitamins or minerals and I would say like minerals and vitamins are even more important than fats, carbohydrates and proteins is something that we need to use like a little bit of everything but the amount of it is really really small so you don't need that much so basically that it what I want to say about the pain and illness what in a purpose and our body is smart so if you got some your headache whatever maybe you think too much too much stress whatever bad environment your body always give you a signal okay change it i don't like it do something else and you will be healthy good looking and live a really long life if you can read the message clearly and can respond to it okay so uh, quite enough talking about painful stuff talking about the pain but much more interesting to topics will wait for you, so stay tuned.